Look at this old bench. No one sits on it, it doesn't look like. I love Kershaw. We're taking a shortcut through Miss Perry's yard so that I can take a picture of Grandmama's house across the street. I guess that will always be my favorite house. Grandmama's house. We'll see if Jeannie and Ryan are in there and if they're going to go to Lancaster with us and, you know, get Dick. Isn't the yard beautiful here? This is just the most classic of houses as far as I'm concerned. How do you like them columns? Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Is anybody home out here today? Gosh, they're doing a lot of work over here. Hello? Mail! Mail! Get back, Mail. Hey, good morning. It's quite an improvement, huh? Well, maybe later. They're going to make this house so beautiful in here. He's up here making the walls smooth. This will be Ryan's room. Melchizedek, I'm going to miss you, doggy. What'd you say about my camera? So you really got in that camera, Jeff. Oh, yeah. I'm, a good, I'm, I'm, I'm really a, a pro, if I say so myself. People think I'm crazy, but then... When they see the tapes, yeah, you, they realize what I'm doing. You keep, uh, keep at it. Yeah, I've been doing this about seven years now, and I'm, I've gotten pretty good at it. You gotta have to stay right here. Yeah, I kind of equate myself more to a dancer than anything else because it's all motion. <laughs> I'll see you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Jeannie. Oh, gosh. She's back here rolling her hair. What are you doing? Rolling it up? Yeah. Jeannie, we don't have time to do your hair. Yes, we do. It doesn't take but a few minutes. You just leave it off for very few minutes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over to my house and pack. Okay. I think I'm packed, but i got to go and, you know collect my money and everything. What money? The money Mama's going to give me for coming down here. Oh, you get paid. <laughs> of course I get paid. I don't take time off from work. <laughs> Unless there's compensation. That's workman's compensation. Did I'm an adult now. Get your raises. Get your oh, these are mine. Yeah, you have to get back. I'm so happy with my new look. Now I get a lot of sympathy from people. Did it hurt? Not a bit. It didn't hurt. You know, makes you uncomfortable sitting there with somebody scratching around on your face. But it sounds worse than it feels. Well, did he give you a shot like that, didn't it? Yeah, he gave me a shot of Novocaine or Xylocaine or whatever. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go over to the house and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. You're coming okay. over. Okay, that's what I'll do. Yeah, well, I'm no sorry. big rush, but come on when you can. It won't be, but I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, Jeannie. See you in a minute. Look at all that old tin, it must have come off the roof. I believe we'll walk around the back way. Get a nice look at the garage and the back of the house. I haven't seen what the back of the house is going to look like when all the work is done. Look at this old garage. This is where we used to play when we were children. We used to play up there. There used to be a gas pump over here where Nancy could pump all the gas necessary to ride around constantly, 24 hours a day, for years and years. Look at this beautiful old desk. Jeannie's been taking the paint off a lot of things. Oh, what a beautiful old chest over here. 
Really? It's just been doing some work and it's looking beautiful. And there's the back of the house. These old steps up to the second floor of the garage are really rickety. They were rickety 20 years ago. Let's see if we can climb up them without them falling down. Wonder if we can get in up here. Oh, we can. Look at this. Books and rugs and old beds and horsemanship awards. What an amazing thing. What's this? A playbill from Broadway in 1954. It's called Undine. That couldn't be Randy Warhol's Undine. Here are canceled checks. Here's one from 1952, September the 1st. $1,366 made out to Mrs. Fred E. Colvin. Lots of horsemanship awards from Jeannie's old horsey days. A big drum from when Jeannie was the drum major. I think some servants used to live up here. Now the vines have entered. I love these old bricks. These old stairs. There was a barn over here where, where a real playhouse was. We used to play over here in the barn. See? When Mama was little, they had a donkey. Or a pony. And a cart. The jonquils are all coming up here in the middle of the winter. And here's the back of the house. The way it's going to look when it's all painted will be pretty. They're going to put a deck up there. A sun deck and maybe a sun porch out and back on the bottom. Here's the old gazebo. We used to play out here too. In the side porch. They're going to leave these awnings on the veranda, the screened in part. See the old gazebo? We keep the yard, yard tools in here. Isn't this amazing? This is all from another era. All these old brick walls and grape arbors and gazebos and outbuildings, old urns. I love my grandmother's house. This and the church, I think, are the two most important buildings to me in the whole world. It's the old grape arbor. There used to be a swing here. Nancy and I could swing on and all the children now it's time to leave and move on. I'm going to move on into another world. A world of electronic energy. So that with God's help I can pervade the whole universe with goodness and truth and plenty. This magnolia bush in Mama's yard is so big now that it's taller than the house. You know, I'm going to go speak to Miss Mobley before I leave because I'll feel so badly if I don't. I'll just explain to her I can't stay but a second. And I want to see Doris and Harry again too. Hello? Probably should have called first. Hello? Miss Mobley, it's Nelson. Nelson from next door. It's Nelson. Hello, come in. I just wanted to say hello, Miss Mobby, before I went back up to New York. Oh, is it Nelson? It's Nelson from next door. Well, I wanted to thank you for those good peach preserves that you sent pear, over. Pear preserves. Pear preserves, excuse me. I wish you'd come in. Well, I'll come in for one second just to say hello. I'm sorry, I'm lazy this morning. No, you're not lazy any morning. <laughs> Where's Doris? Doris is, uh, Doris. is she here? She went up to 
Oh, she did. Yeah. I'm about to leave to go back to Atlanta with Dick Richards, and I just wanted I to say hello. Ready to go back. No. Don't take me, Luke. I haven't even come my house. All right. Miss <coughs> Mobley's cooking some lunch for Doris and Harry. You look so good, Miss Mobley. I I just find you more and more amazing every time I see oh, you. Well, thank you. I've been sitting there reading the paper. That wrote Joe Morrison. Really? I'm sorry. Did you know about him? Oh, the coach at Carolina. Uh -huh. Yeah, I heard that on the news last night. I just had a mole removed over at Johnny Brewer's office. That's why I have this thing on my on my face. Yeah. Come on in here and sit down. I can't sit down, Miss Mobley, and I don't even want to interrupt your cooking. I just wanted to come here and say hello. We we are about to leave this very minute. Uh huh. And since I didn't get a chance to, you know, pay my respects, I wanted to do that. Well, I'm sorry. I look like I did. You look beautiful. Thank you. Look at my hair. Oh, I'm looking. It's beautiful. What's wrong with your hair? It's all curly and nice. Just, looks just, looks like you just had a permanent. Well, I, it hadn't been long, but I just got out of bed and didn't even touch it. I wanted to come give you a kiss and tell you that I loved you. Let me kiss your hand since... Oh, well, bless your heart. Since, bless your heart. Bless since I've uh, got this bandage on my face. I kind of, I'm sorry. I hope it's going to still be all right. That's fine. It's just a mole. I'm glad to have it done. I well, wanted I'm to get rid of it because I'm always oh, taking my pictures. No, no. I saw Harry and I gotta go now because they're all well, ready so to go. I'm so glad you came over to speak to him. Dick has an appointment in Atlanta this afternoon, so well, we have to go. In Atlanta. He is in Atlanta, <laughs> and I'm in New York. But I tell you, I've had it's such New York. It's just been it's, cold up there. It's a big old monster city. <laughs> But you know, I had more fun this time at home, and I had such a blessing. I went to church yesterday, and I saw so many so people sorry. I haven't seen in years. I know and it was enjoyed that. It was all so beautiful. I just don't know how to express it. <laughs> Bye, Miss Mobley. It's Bye. good to see you. I'll see you next time I'm home. Bye-bye. Okay, well, all right. Bye. Bye. There's a beautiful lady. And now I'm going to pay my respects to the quince tree because I haven't really gotten a good picture of it yet. In the middle of February, we have beautiful blooms in Kershaw, South Carolina.